here with you. Coming up, I'll have the latest on COVID-19 in Newfoundland and Labrador, and we'll take a look at your weather forecast as well. Once again today, there are no new cases of COVID-19 in Newfoundland and Labrador. This means that the provincial total remains at 261. One more person has recovered. This means that there is just one active case in the province. Three people have died as a result of the virus and there have been 257 recoveries. 14,717 people have been tested for the virus so far. In the weather forecast, there are some frost advisories in effect. I'll have those details in just a moment. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. Well, it was a mixed bag of weather depending on where you are in Newfoundland. Today we had some rain and fog on the east coast and it was fairly pleasant for most of central and the west coast. As we head through tonight, there are some frost advisories in effect uh, for uh, the majority of western Newfoundland and portions of central as well, so keep that in mind if you do have any frost-prone plants outside. The forecast for tonight, it is going to continue to be unsettled in St. John's. We're looking at rain and fog tonight. We'll pick up about 5 to 10 millimeters by the time all is said and done, and an overnight low of 9 degrees. And then as we head through central tonight, there is a chance of showers expected, about a 40% chance, and an overnight low of 8. And in Corner Brook tonight, it is going to be mostly clear, with a low of 3, and of course there is a risk of some frost. The forecast for tomorrow is looking nice for most areas of the island portion of the province at least. St. John's, you'll notice there, there is some rain and some fog, fog expected. Uh, that's going to abate as the morning progresses. By the time we get to the afternoon, we may see some sunny breaks here and there, and it is going to warm up to 17. In uh, central Newfoundland tomorrow, 24 degrees expected with uh, mostly sunny skies, mostly sunny for the south coast, and mostly sunny in uh, the Cornerbrook area as well, getting up to 20 degrees. In St. Anthony, there's about a 60% chance of an afternoon shower. Uh, there is a chance of showers expected for um, Happy Valley Goose Bay, Sun and Cloud in Maine, and some rain expected in Labrador City. Your extended forecast, St. John's SSS, some afternoon clearing expected with a daytime high of 17. 22 degrees expected for Wednesday with a mix of sun and cloud. The, the same thing for Thursday, sun and cloud in 22. And we do hold on to sun and cloud for Friday and for your Saturday. And then in central Newfoundland, mostly sunny in 24 for your Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, a mix of sun and cloud temperatures in the mid-20s. Friday, we are looking at a chance of showers. It does cool down to 12 degrees. And for Saturday, we are looking at a mix of sun and cloud and a high of 23. And then in Corner Brook, mostly sunny in 24 tomorrow. So we head through Wednesday, a mix of sun and cloud and 20 degrees as well. 22 for Thursday with a mix of sun and cloud. Uh, there is a chance of showers for Friday and a uh, daytime high of 12, and mostly sunny for Saturday and a high of 17. That's a look at your news and your forecasts. Now you can head on over and check out newfoundnews.ca for the very latest.